In this video, we're going to look at prime numbers. The definition of a prime number is a number that only has two factors, itself and one. A common misconception is that a prime number is a number that can only be divided by itself and one. So the definition is it has two factors, itself and the number one. That therefore means that one is not a prime number. If we look at the number one, often students say that one is prime. The definition says it needs to have two factors. This has only got one factor and that's one. So let's go ahead now and look at building up a list of prime numbers. The first prime number is two. Two is the only even prime number and that kind of makes sense. If we think about it, its factors now are one and two. So it's only got two factors. If we think about any other even number, if we take four for example, the factors of four are going to be one, two and four. So we can see that any even number after two is not going to be prime. The next prime number is three, one times by three, therefore it's prime. It's got two factors, itself and one. We then have five, we then have seven. A common error now is for pupils to say 9 because they're going up in terms of the odd numbers. But think about 9. We've got 1, we've got 3, and we've got 9. 3 times by 3 is 9. So 9 is not prime. 1 is not prime. The next one is 11. 13. We will have 17. We will have 19. The next one is going to be 23. We will then on the next one have 29, then we will go to 31 and so on and so forth. You can keep going with these if you want to build them up, but essentially we're looking at the basics. A prime number is a number that has two factors and those two factors are itself and the number one. So for your basic maths, just learn the first few prime numbers. I would suggest that any problem won't extend beyond about 31. Two is the first and only even prime number. Three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 27, 31, and so on and so forth. 